This video will show you how to make a graph, a bar graph that's suitable um, for an APA document, so great for using this in your dissertations. What we've got here are some data um, from young adults and old adults. It's the time taken to complete a task under three different conditions. Under a quiet condition, whilst listening to jazz, and whilst listening to Mozart. What we're going to do is make a bar graph to show these means. So the first thing we need to do is to select the data, select it all, although we don't need to select the title there. And then we go to charts, and then we go to column. Select column, and you need to choose clustered column. And then you'll have a graph showing the data. Now this isn't suitable for APA yet. What we need to do is make sure that these aren't in colour because when you print off your dissertation they may come out as the same colour if they're like this. So we need to make them grayscale. So we select the data, right click, format data series, go to fill, on the drop down button and select a dark grey. Select OK. And then do the same for the older adults. Format data series. Automatic. Select. OK. So the next thing we need to do to make it suitable for APA is to remove these grid lines. So you can right click on them, select delete. Next we want to make sure this is a bit clearer. Select. Go to home and increase the font size and the same with the x-axis. And the same with the legend here. And this legend can just be moved up here like this. So to fit with APA style, another thing we need to do is to add our standard deviations. So here we have our standard deviations for the younger adults. And here we have them for the older adults. So we select here, and this selects all the data from the younger adults. And then we go to chart layout, to error bars, to error bar options. And I'm going to select here plus. You can plus or both are fine. And what we need to do is customize our values. So then we go to specify value and we select the data that we want to use for younger adults. And that goes into this positive error value box here and select OK. OK. And then we select the older adults data and do the same. Chart layout, error bars, error bar options, plus, custom, specify value and specify these values here and select OK. okay. This chart is almost good enough to use now for APA but um, it's good to get rid of the border surrounding it so we right click format chart area fill we want no fill line we want no line Select OK. And then we'll do the same with the inner area of the chart. This stops it from pixelating when you put it into your Word document. So we go to Format Plot Area, Line, No Line, Fill, No Fill. OK. And then this chart is now good enough to put straight in to your Word document. So you can highlight the chart, right click, copy and paste into your Word document and there it is. Let's add a title to the y-axis. All you need to do is go to chart layout, axis titles, vertical axis title and we want rotated title. and add the title, sign taken. 
in seconds. And you can highlight that and change the font size so it fits with the rest of the document. And there you go.